I find for most leaders, there is a day of reckoning. <laughs> and we arrive at that day either through exhaustion or aspiration. Which is to say, in the case of exhaustion, that we can't continue to live this way. I can't continue to believe that it is part of my responsibility to carry everybody forward in the organization. Or, conversely, we might arrive at that day of reckoning through aspiration, where we say to ourselves, I envision a future for everyone where they're self-starting and volitional and they're the masters of their own fate. So I want to empower. I want to let go. I want to release my stranglehold <laughs> on the organization. And it is true that I generally find people arrive at this letting go, either through their exhaustion because they simply can't continue to live this way any longer, or because they have these high ideals. But it doesn't matter the route one takes to arrive at the Day of Reckoning. What matters is on that day how we let go. Here's a way to think about it specifically, granularly. So you'll notice sort of along this diagonal axis, bottom left to top right, the transition of moving from being a micromanager to someone who creates an environment in which extreme ownership thrives. And of course, at the far left, when I'm in this heroic management realm, I'm primarily a teller. I direct the work of others and they wait for orders. I sell my ideas or priorities, and they respond. I consult, and they suggest. But ultimately, it gets to the point where it's lighter and looser, because to achieve true ownership, at the most, I should convey. And they start to take more and more ownership by initiating themselves. And then, on the whole, they're owning, they're driving, and I'm just supporting. This is a really beautiful transition. And you'll notice it harkens back to what we talked about in gifts number two and three, when we unpacked the helicopter and the idea of moving at altitude from working for an organization and in an organization to being an architect on an organization. So this migration from for through in to on is reflected in this second image where we find individuals high into the right, primarily green, really owning most of what happens in the organization. And me as the leader, as the historical manager, mostly cheerleading, championing, resourcing, taking barriers out of the way, providing what's needed so that the team can reach elevation themselves and find more often than not they're behaving at the highest level, more strategic, and more often than not on the organization rather than simply in it or for it. <music>